All right, we'll go ahead and discuss uh, last week's game just briefly. First of all, it was a great team win. Certainly was unconventional. Uh, typically, when you have really evenly matched teams, special teams are going to make the decision that are turnovers in the special team play, particularly the field goal block was, I think, a, a heck of a play. Um, <clears throat> I thought our defense played great red zone defense, uh, which forced them to field goals. Um, another explosive play by Harrison, uh, some great blocking up front, but Harrison is uh, truly, a, I think, a great weapon for us. And then uh, the X factor, just our, our team's resolve and belief to win uh, was certainly exceptional. <clears throat> Areas of improvement, well, certainly we need to improve in the passing game. We had been on a good trajectory. But our yardage and completion percentage uh, needs to improve, and we need to improve a little bit on third down to stay on the field more. Uh, on defense, we need some more stops. Uh, there was times that those drives, uh, you know, they flipped the field over and ate up a lot of clock. It's one of the few games where we significantly lost the time of possession. So, uh, you know, great win. Uh, we're 1-0 and there, and now we need to move on to the Lobos. I think Coach Gonzalez has got the New Mexico playing in the right direction. They came up with a heck of a win. It's a long road trip to go out to UMass, and they they really dominated them. Um, you know, significant improvement on offense. Hopkins uh, transfer has really uh, light, lightened up their their offense. He's got a strong arm. Uh, they've got a host of receivers, some transfers there. They're huge up front. Um, on defense, <clears throat> obviously, it's kind of still the ghost of Rocky that's out there, this uh, mafia tree that he has. Uh, they play a really stingy defense, and that's been a, a real challenge for us over the last several years. And so we're certainly excited about this game, uh, excited about another opportunity, and then also excited about opening Mountain West play. So at this time, questions. Cody. Um, Well, first of all, I, I, I think we need to, uh, <clears throat> we need to credit uh, App State's back end. Uh, they're, 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 their guys on the back end were much more uh, talented than what I thought. There wasn't a lot of space there. We had a hard time getting open. Some of our balls weren't thrown exactly right. Uh, we did have some protection problems. So it was, a, it was a kind of a combination of a lot of things. But I'm convinced App State is a really good football team, and their guys run well, they tackle well, and we had a hard time with spacing, and uh, we're working hard on that this week. Craig, you had kind of an original or an initial injury report. I saw, I think, Tyreekus left the game. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, we're, we're, we're in hopes that Tyreekus will be back right now. I'd say it'd be questionable. So you'll have Kobe starting uh, along with your Corey. On the same point, is Will Post here anywhere? He's getting close. We're going to find out a little bit more today. I know he was running on the sidelines the other day. <clears throat> uh, they timed him at over 22 miles an hour, which is one of the fastest guys around. Also, I did know that, notice that uh, um, uh, Harrison's run, he broke 22. And against Texas, that run was 21. So he's getting faster and more back in game shape. Do you know what no, I I didn't check on that, but I knew when he scooped it up, he was gone. <laughs> yep, uh, the, he he was gone. How about the softball who served his name? Mm -hmm. uh, he he really did well on the the one kickoff coverage. Uh, we're looking at him more. He's got that club on, but I'm sure Coach Savell is going to integrate him, you know, into practice a little bit more. He just got cleared recently, so it was great to see uh, Buck out there. Did he come back? Oh, yeah, he, he was – I think he was completely upset that he was not playing against Texas, and he hadn't hardly even practiced. So that's Buck. Mm -hmm. uh, going back to DeCorey, just what kind of growth have you seen out of him um, on and off the field? Yeah, you know, a lot more uh, um, focus. You know, last year he was in transition. And what you're seeing him do is pay attention to the details, the things that Coach Boyd is coaching him on. Uh, his technique has improved, and he's been much more consistent. Yeah, Trey. Uh, obviously, there were some shortcomings with the team, as you talked about in that game that you need to address. Mm -hmm. To see them in that situation be able to go out and control themselves enough to get the victory. 
Yeah, that's, you know, I appreciate you bringing that up because that's one of the things that I it come back to the maturity of the team and team chemistry. And you're, I've coached long enough, there's going to be some games when you're just out there and things aren't just going great. And the team that has a steady hand that keep, keep staying in the fight and uh, <clears throat> not get disconnected, uh, those are really qualities of teams that I've seen through the years, whether – you know, when I was an assistant at Nebraska or my time at NDSU or even here. And so, uh, you know, that doesn't happen overnight. Uh, we certainly don't want to rely on that a lot, but I'm convinced that that was a big, big reason why we were have the resolve and belief to stay in this game to win it because there's times it didn't look very promising. How impressed have you been just with the play from the defensive line? Mm -hmm. Well, really impressed, and we felt like we could leverage that, not only the defensive tackles, but the defensive ends uh, that, that has taken some pressure off our back end guys and the linebackers that fit in well. Uh, we're getting good uh, passing pressure, and we'll need to continue to leverage that defensive front. And, and we're playing a lot of guys as well, particularly at the defensive tackle spot. Greg, a lot of people like to point out the losses you guys have had as a program in the transfer portal. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, we're really pleased. And, and this is just part of the lay of the land. And, um, you know, a lot of people had said, uh, coach isn't going to adjust or whatever. I think our staff has done a good job. We vetted guys and uh, they brought good value to our football team and they've meshed in with our locker room as well. Back to the defensive line, specifically Devon Harris. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, he's been huge, and, you know, he's so unassuming because, uh, you know, when you you see him walk around his stature, I mean, he, while he's got good length, it's not like he's all yoked up and everything else, but he plays with great leverage, and he's got really good explosion. He's got really good instincts, and, you know, we've been able to drop him into coverage at times, and that's been an X factor, too. He's got really good feel on what areas to uh, – where to go to in his zones. How different is this New Mexico team now? I know uh, – mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I would say it's it's significantly different. You know, they um, it was probably a tough decision Danny had to make, but that's one of those decisions that you make as a head coach. I think the world of Coach Gonzalez, and like I said, I, he's got this program going the right way. Uh, offensively, uh, defensively, they're they're still in that same mode, but they've just made significant, significant improvements offensively. They can throw the ball down the field. The quarterback, you know, I saw him toss the ball over 60 yards against uh, uh, UMass, and uh, they've got some great receivers too. So that's an element that last year they did not have. What's the shift like going from this pretty high-profile non-conference mm -hmm. schedule into now the conference schedule against New Mexico? Well, you know, this is one of the, the goals that our team has is to, to establish ourselves. We say 1-0, but our players have always looked to trying to have an opportunity to win the Mountain West. Each one of these games is so critical, um, and we're glad we got the Lobos at home. Rick Graham got his first start last year against mm -hmm. New Mexico, and after the game, we didn't even know he was a player. We thought that he might be a support yeah. staff. Uh, <clears throat> You know, you know, and that the interception he had. I mean, he obviously, I think he had two uh, uh, takeaways or whatever. He had the fumble recovery, which was really, uh, I guess, uh, impactful. And then the interception was huge. I mean, he he came off his man and, and high pointed it about as high as Rook can go and came up with a big interception.